Welcome back everyone in this tutorial where we create a network game for Steam using Unity. So in the previous video we have added shooting ability to the player, to the character player and we synchronize that through the network. So in this video we are going to continue that and we will add health system to the player and we will display that for all of the players. So let's get started. So let's start by creating the canvas for the player. So let's go to the character. Let's enter the prefab and let's create a UI image. And let's convert the canvas to world space. Give it the position of zeros and the width of one and one. And the image as well to the width of one and one. So they scale up with the character. So let's move this up there. Let's do this so it looks like a health bar on top of the player. And let's do this. So after, let's add a game object inside of the canvas, call it health. And let's move this right here. Drop the image inside of the health. And now if we change the X scale of the health in game object, you will see that it will show that we are changing the health so we will use this to show the health bar on top of the player so let's make it a color of red first let's give it this kind of red for example and after let's add a script here let's call it network network health state let's start by using unity dot code and let's derive this script from network behavior instead network behavior here let's declare a variable which will be a network variable of type integer in this situation it might be a float in your situation so health point which is equal to a new network variable of type integer the difference between the network variable and the normal variable which in, you can say public integer health point or whatever you want to say is that every time you change this value it will also synchronize to all of the connected players so if this game object exists on all of the clients when you change this health point from the server side all of the other clients will see the change and you can track the change by saying start and inside of the start you can say for example health point dot on value change which is an event that will be called every time the value change another thing is this variable should only be changed server side if you hover over here you can see that the network variable write permission is actually network variable write permission dot server which means only the server is allowed to write on this network variable you can change it to owner also but in our situation let's keep it as a server and that's the only thing that we need in this script it will just hold our health point value let's say hide an in inspector so it doesn't show in the inspector after that let's create a script let's call it player ui and this script will display the health value into this ui let's start by getting a reference for our health ui so we can say rect transform health ui and let's make it a serialized field instead here we can say on enable as well as on disable so on the enable we subscribe to the event that will be fired every time the health value changed and on the disable we unsubscribe so we say git component network health network health state dot health point dot on value change plus equal health changed changed and we copy this we paste it here and we unsubscribe instead and let's generate this method inside of this method we will display the health value on the bar so we say health ui dot transform 
dot local scale which is equal to new vector 3 the value should be between 0 and 1 since that is our scale for the health and our health value will be between 0 and 100 so we will divide the new value by 100 so here we say new value over 100 float and after let's give it a one and another one so we don't change any other scale and that's it for the script if we go to the network health state back again here we need to initialize this value and we can do that in the on network spawn method anything that is related to the network most likely you should do it in the on network spawn so public override void on network spawn and here health point dot value you can change it directly you should call that dot value which is equal to a hundred and it is an integer now let's drop the health right here now let's uh, reduce our health bar whenever a bullet hits the character we can do that in the for example player script wherever you want and here we call the on trigger enter method and this will be fired when a collider hits the player while performing the move method here let's call it a collider and the way we check if it was a bullet or not we can say collider dot get component and we get the bullet script and this will return true if the game object contained bullet script which means that's bullet in our situation and here we need to reduce the health value for example by let's say 10 so get component for the network health state dot health point dot value which is minus equal to 10 and as we mentioned earlier the network variable should only be changed server side so also we check for a server here another check so if we are not the server we return so we make sure this is only being called on the server side let's try it and here we go i'll enter the initial transform and i'll edit this instead of zero i'll make it 90 so the 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 bullets come toward the player so we make sure that this is working so if we press on k here we go the health is actually getting reduced however in most situations you don't want the player to hit himself so let's edit the script so that doesn't happen so inside of the player let's go to the player and here if we go to the bullet spawner we need to edit something inside of this and we when when we spawn the bullet instead of calling the spawn method we can call the spawn with ownership which will give the ownership of this game object to someone and we can get who called this method to shoot a bullet by coming here and saying server rpc params server rpc params which is equal to default and inside of here we need to give that person the ownership of this game object so we say server rpc params dot receive dot receive dot sender client id we need to say and and we need to check if the player owns this game object so we say get component for the network object and we say owner client id and we check if it is not equal to the network to the owner of the bullet so you say collider dot get component for the bullets for the for the network object dot owner client id and this will make sure that if I hit my own bullet, it won't damage me. Let's give it a quick try. Here, let's enter our game. And here we go. We can see two players. Let's move from the other side. 
Yeah, let's try to damage them. And here we go. It's working nicely. Let me damage this player instead. And here you go. 